understand this industry, a high wire sport with no net at times, and not everybody makes it. 90% of the agent force will fail because maybe they didn't understand what I'm going to share with you in very raw and real talk in this video. You aren't graded on the curve, my friends. This business is amazing. It's phenomenal, but yet it's painful at times to understand you're not graded on the curve, and you need to be one that has these four points in your possession to even have a chance of making the cut. So we're going to dive into these things with you. Before I do this, my name is Jason. I'm here in the industry, and I'm so blessed to recruit and partner with some of the most amazing agents, as well as agencies that align here in a work family to sell life. Medicare and annuities, face-to-face, -face, but more importantly, in the telespace. So free resources for your taking, and I appreciate you subscribing today, and I hope this video helps you. So number one, if you're taking notes, the most important thing is your mind. Your mindset is so critical to you capitalizing and having a chance, not a guarantee, but a chance of making money. Your mind is everything. Now, I'm not talking about warm, happy thoughts and a bunch of rah-rah with no real substance here, but you have to have a good mindset because if your recruiter didn't tell you, you're going to have chargebacks. If your recruiter didn't tell you, you're going to be told, you know what? I, I took the policy out with you, but don't proceed. Send me my check back or refund me my premium. I don't want this. And this is one of those things that can take your mind and make you go crazy at times when at first you're like, yay, I get to become an insurance agent. I can make money. This is great. And yes, you can. When you're a top performer, you're going to get paid what you're worth. And it is a performance-based business. Those that do are those that get. And because of the risk, phenomenal reward when you make it, but yet negativity will come in and it can just cap you at the knees. All right. <laughs> I'm telling you it can, when you get these negative things that happen, or maybe when a lead says, don't ever call me again. And you're like, Oh crud, right? It, you, I need to make cash flow here. Your mindset is everything where your mind goes, your methods will closely follow. So you've got to guard your mind. You want to get it in this industry. You got to understand that some days you're going to be making the wealth. Some days you feel like you're getting taken to the woodshed. I really am telling you the truth here. You're going to have this happen to you. Everything's great. It's going well. And then all of a sudden, a chargeback happens. Maybe you sold a policy and a death came early. And now you sold a proper policy, but the client passed away. And now there's a small chargeback because maybe you sold guaranteed issue with a company that ends in G. And there's a two-year chargeback risk. And I know Great Western's going the way of the Dodo, as well as a bunch of other companies recently. All right, four of them actually, if you count. You got True Stage went sideways, CFG went sideways, uh, Lumico no longer uh, taking on new agents. And then Great Western, great company. Uh, they'll be out of the final expense space very soon. So understand the only thing constant in this industry is a little bit of change. The business is very, very simple, but a lot of folks complicate it. That's why becoming an independent insurance agent in final expense telesales is so important to you so that you've got lots of carriers. So if one carrier leaves the market, it doesn't even matter. But mindset here, my friends, be powerful in what you choose, choose to put into your mind. Don't focus on the negative. You'll never get anywhere good with that mindset, and you don't even have a chance of making the money, in my opinion, when you're becoming an Eeyore, when everything's negative. Oh, man, my lead said this. Wah, 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 wah. You're riding that ambulance, not to wealth, not to wealth right now. You're riding that ambulance, and it's going to get you hurt and harm. So mindset. I get to do this every day. I get to go help people. You're not there shaking trees, all right? You're not there squeezing grapes like a car salesman and nothing against your car salesman. But I'm telling you, you've got to be positive in your mind because you're going to have things that make you just go, why am I in this industry? When a chargeback happens, when an insurance company is no longer there anymore, and maybe they were your favorite, all right? Or maybe your favorite lead vendor went sideways and it just seeped into your mind. Man, that's no good, blah, blah, blah. You've got to be a positive, powerful person in just these times of negativity. Understand you've got what it takes, but your mindset Number one, very, very critical. Keep yourself positive. Keep yourself in a place that you're poised to really be powerful and meeting needs, and that is very critical for you. So number two, if you're taking notes, is skill set. You've got to be in a place that you can practice your craft until your craft truly becomes a part of you, like a piece of you. It comes out organically instead of so many insurance agents. They've got a powerful, positive mindset. Yay, all right? You're high enough to hunt ducks with a rake, but you don't know what to do. 
skill set is everything. And so many agents will not use their script or maybe you're in an organization that's recruit, 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 and you're just told, here's a script, go buy leads, you'll figure it out. That's horrible. You want to have a skill set where you can sharpen the saw so that you can have someone like in our agency that will walk alongside of you to help you understand your script. Systems, systems, systems are so important, which is why we spend hours and hours and hours. You look at our agent interviews and testimonials up here, and you'll see countless stories of the hours that we intentionally spend in skill set transfer and in mentoring. Skill set is everything. Do not take shortcuts in this space. It'll take you out, my friends. It really will. You cut that call too short, and you're going to call it quits real soon. Remember, 90% of the agent force fails because sometimes maybe they were just really excited and didn't have the skills. So you must practice like your career depends on it because it does, and you can make it fun. This is no different than you being in a Romeo and Juliet play. Maybe back in high school, you wouldn't have like grabbed the script and then jumped on stage, right? You'd probably like, oof, have butterflies in your stomach and be out of there, right? Look at this business the same way. If you're in final expense telesales or even a face-to-face -face insurance agent, maybe you're selling life or health or annuities like what our work family here does a lot of and our agencies as well that partner here, understand your skill set is everything. You need to be scalpel sharp. You need to practice more than you play, just like a football team, so that when you step on that field, you've got a chance of finding success. So number two, skill set. Make sure you vetted your trainer. I've been in this industry 20 plus years doing telesales combined with my insurance background as well. It's insane. You got to be in a position where you've got mentors that can make a way for you. Mentors that are million dollar roundtable reps. They can really like take you under their wing, not because you're weak, but because you want to be a warrior. And if you want to be a warrior, you've got to stand on some shoulders of some folks that have seen some things that maybe you haven't experienced yet. And this is critical for you. A lot of organizations will just recruit, recruit, no real skill set, and then you wonder why you fall flat. Get into a place that you can be fierce because you've practiced your skill set into a position where now it's a piece of you, and that can make you really unconsciously competent, and that's really good for your chance chance, not guarantee of capitalization. Now, number three, this is where most agents get told, go buy leads, buy more leads, buy more leads, buy more leads. And yeah, you'll probably go broke if you haven't put the time in. This is a position where you need to have leads, but not just one batch of leads. Do you like eating? Put it in the comments below if you do. I certainly like eating. And let me tell you, I don't eat uh, once a week, right? If you want to be skinny in this business and die of starvation, fail to buy leads. You've got to buy leads on the weekly. If you're a part-time insurance agent, you need to buy around 45 to 50 leads a week, brand new exclusive leads if you want this business to have even a chance of working. If you're a full-time agent, times two, all right? You need like 85 to 100 leads on the weekly, and you got to work them like your career depends on it because it does. But you've got to have a budget. Households go broke because they didn't have a budget and stick to it. You as an insurance agent, you need to scratch your head and go, what am I going to invest into my business? No one should care more about your business than you, and you have to have routines, and you've got to be disciplined enough to say, you know what? I'm going to invest this much money into leads every week, and I'm going to work them like a warrior because I've got a good mindset. I've got good skills. I've been mentored. I've been trained. I got someone that truly is going to be there for me in seconds and minutes. Well, now you buy your leads and you need to invest into yourself because now you're ready, but you've got to budget this. If you go, well, I'll just see what happens. I'll tell you what's going to happen. You're going to go broke, all right? 90% of the agent force fails. And for lack of vision, people perish. That is powerful words, all right? Not mine, that scripture, but I'm telling you when you're looking at leads, a lot of agents fail because they failed to buy leads. They have this poor, once again, mindset. They don't purchase their lead. They go, next week, later. See you later, alligator, when you don't invest in leads. Discipline is very critical. But if you're a part-time agent, you need to do the same. If you know you can do it with a positive, powerful mind and you've got the skills to pay the bills, well, then let's see. You put your money where your mouth is and let's make everything happen. This is powerful for you, but number three is critical. Buy leads. Have the best leads that you can get your hands on. If you want inbound leads, you can do amazing leads here in our work family, talking mid-30s, and they're going to call you. So you're not dialing for dollars anymore. You are fielding an inbound lead. That's magical, so you don't have to worry about anything, spam likely, all this stuff. You'll have people just calling your phone.
pretty awesome, but you're right around mid thirties. And if you're an agent that says, listen, I want to focus on outbound leads. We can get you leads that are phenomenal and you will be just enjoying it and then hating it and then enjoying it and then hating it. Outbound leads, it's like a blessing and a curse, right? You got some people that will curse you out. You got some people that say, wow, I've been waiting for your call. You buy 100 leads a week, you're going to have people that are amazing. You're going to have people that are less than amazing. You've got to go through the numbers if you want to have a chance of success, and you'll get knocked out if you don't. So a new agent, invest into brand new leads outbound. You don't need as many inbounds because you have guaranteed conversations, which does not, by the way, guarantee you a conversion. That's your skills in you that hopefully will give you the ability to pay your bills, but you've got to have the right leads. You've got to have the right rhythm of leads, just like anything else in life. And if you're an agent that says, you know what? I don't have money for leads right now. I don't have much. That's okay. You can get age leads currently. You can still legally do that, uh, but you got to be prepared to buy brand new leads soon. And no, you don't need to generate your own Facebook leads. That's not a compliance thing. It's single consent, meaning you can buy leads from a vendor that has your name on it and your phone number. And then guess what? Make the world go round. Time is your most valuable resource, and we're going to get to that in point number four, but invest into leads on the weekly if you want to have a chance, not a guarantee, a chance of finding the wealth. And a lot of agents, they chip themselves off at their knees because they didn't take the plunge and buy their leads the way they should have. So number four, if you're still taking notes with me, is time. Time is your most valuable resource. You've got to get your 40 better than that drunk on your corner, all right, in your neighborhood or maybe in your your city. You know what I'm talking about? You got that guy that is always drinking outside, and he'll do anything to get his 40. You as an insurance agent that are full-time, you need to be disciplined and have habitual behavior to get your 40. You got to look yourself in the mirror and go, did I make my 40 happen this week? Don't get out hustled by your neighborhood. You know what? That's drinking out of a brown bag. Don't do this. You've got more skills in you, and you've got to look yourself into the mirror and go, am I making my hours count? Because time is your most valuable resource, and time can make you or time can break you. You've got to be into a position that you're powerfully using your time. You've got a time block, which means you're putting fences around your time. It says, I'm not going to do my CRM stuff. I'm not going to mess around with this. I'm going to make the most out of my 40 income producing activities my friend is everything if you're a part-time insurance agent in final expense telesales phenomenal if you're a part-time final expense agent face-to-face -face, phenomenal that's great but you've got to get into a place that you put a full-time effort into your part-time hours which means you're going to put fences around your time. If you're only three, four hours a day, good. Nothing gets in your way. Your phone goes on, do not disturb. Your door stays shut, and you really like drill down into action. If you want to make a dollar in this industry, it's not guaranteed. You've got to be driven. You've got to be disciplined, and you've got to get your 40. If you're full-time, maybe you're only able to work 20. You can do phenomenal things. Look at our agent interviews and testimonials of part-time agents. You go from hero to zero, though. In a week, you can have a wealthy mindset, and now you're like, oh, nothing's working, and then you start messing with your fundamentals, and you start failing with maybe your script. You've got to have systems. Very important. No shortcuts here, my friends. You've got to have the systems. They've got to be simple. You've got to be systematic in how you apply them, and then you can start scaling at that point, and hopefully you can leave your day job if you're a part-timer. Once and only once, you've duplicated your income. And for you full-timers out there, run your business with the fierceness that it deserves. You're a business owner. You're not a W-2. You've got to be one that is disciplined, disciplined, and disciplined. And you got to have a level of accountability to yourself first and foremost, but you've also got to have a mentor that maybe will walk with you so that you have a chance of finding wealth in this industry because there's no better life when you make it. It's blessed my family. It's blessed our agents here as well. And there's agents that just love what they do. And then there's agents that are maybe talking about the business instead of being about the business. Being a million dollar round table agent, let me tell you, comes with responsibility. It comes with hustling. comes with heart. But it's not about that commission breath. It's about putting the coins of action in the machine and let's go, let's go, let's go. Pull that one-armed bandit. And this is a game that you can win when you do a couple little things right. If we can be of a resource or of a help to you, reach out at jasonfinalexpense.com. Or if you've got a topic you'd like me to take up for you personally, put it in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and subscribing. Hit the notification bell if you haven't, and we'll drop some good content that I hope will help you and take you far. And remember, my friends, you've got what it takes. We'll see you soon.